Hello out there, welcome to the newspaper review here on TAF TV. This is where we get to discuss trending and catchy headlines every day with people on the streets. We are at the newspaper re um, stand in Port Harcourt and we are getting to discuss the newspaper headlines. People get to hear their opinions and have what they have to say as regards the headlines making rounds on the papers. My name is Obed Jerry, your host for today. And yes, you can also be a part of this show. If you are yet to subscribe, do well to subscribe. If you are yet to turn on the notification button, connect with us across all our social media platforms. So that when we draw videos like this, you get to receive it firsthand. Well, before we get to discuss with people on the streets, let's look into the papers and see what the stories look like. First, we'll be looking at the nation's newspaper. We could see our headline here reads: Federal government insists rejig of agencies would lead to job cuts. Details of this story is found on page five. Nigeria's economy not in a mess, says SUK envoy. Details of this story is found on page five. Senate throws out bills seeking to classify Anambra as NDDC state. Details of this story is found on page 5 also. IPOB denies existence of ESN camps in Southeast. Details is found on page 6. Ethnic tension brewing over a quiet bomb remapping. Details is found on page 6. Igboho can't speak for Igbo. Details is found also on page 6. President plans executive order to cut price of drug. Substories under that reads: Government in, government injects 50 billion naira into primary healthcare. Afrexim gives one billion dollar grant for medical industrialization. Details of this story is found on page four. Army covers 40 illegal oil wells in Rivers community. Details of this story is found in page six of the nation's newspaper. We could see here the main story here. Read Tinubu. We are laying solid foundation for restructuring. Sub story under that reads: Southwest expects comprehensive rejig of polity. Another sub story under that reads: President visits African federal leader. It is found on page four. Wigwe, wife, son for burial, March 9. Sub story under that reads, Rivers, we immortalize Access Bank boss, says Fubara. It is found on page 43. JTF arrest 17. Impound two vessels laden with 500,000 liters of diesel. It is found on page six and thus all will be taken on the nation's newspaper. And moving on, we'll be looking at the Daily Trust newspaper. We could see a headline here read, Sim NIN linkage. 11 million subscribers face blockage today. Sub stories under that read, ask for more time. NCC forecloses deadline extension. Details is found on page four. Please, those persons that are here to link their NIN with their SIMs, please do well to link it to avoid being disconnected by the NCC. All right, still on the newspapers, we could see a headline here read, hardship, we were threatened to end protest, says NLC. Details is found on page 26. Jackpa. Federal government recruits 2,497 doctors. Others, this is found on page six. Two kidnappers repent, request to join hunters in Taraba. This is found on page 17. And that's all we'll be taken on the Daily Trust newspaper. And lastly, for today, we'll be looking at the Punch newspaper. We could see a headline here it reads, I take full responsibility. Nigeria will recover, says Tinubu. This is found on page 22. Subsidy remover. Petrol import crashes by 990 million liters monthly. Details is found on page 33. Shoyinka delivers punch 50th anniversary lecture today. Details is found on page 28. You can see here the main story here. It says, SIM NIN linkage. NCC rules out extension. Telco bars 12 million lines. Sub story under that reads, MTN, Etel, others vow to enforce NCC order by midnight Wednesday. Details of the story is found on page 2. Osoba, envoys, others, commend punch at photo exhibition. Details of this story is found on page 3 and 22. Senate rejects bill to include Anambra in NDDC. Details is found on page 43. JTF intercepts vessels with 500,000 liters. Stolen crude. Arrest 17. Details is found on page 29. Igodalo promises to beat Obaseki's record. Shaibu threatens lawsuit. Details is found on page 42. And that's all we'll be taking on the Punch newspaper. Now let's get to see the reactions of people on the street. Let's get to hear what they have to say on the papers. Hello, good morning. Yeah. I like morning. your thoughts on the nation's newspaper that says, President plans executive order to cut price of drug. Okay. Thank you. Um, my name is Michael. Yeah, it's very, very important because in, in Nigeria, we don't have uh, a substantive uh, uh, um, hospital that can also take care of you. As many of our politicians, they even fly abroad to get uh, treatment. Yeah, treatment. Uh, what I think that our government should do 
is to try to uh, uh, reduce the cost of medicine so that the owner in Nigeria can access medicine because it is not easy now, you know, in the hardship of the things that are happening. It's very important. People are dying every day. The only way I think that the government should come in is, is to, if they can subsidize it, it's very, very important. But, but, but we know that these um, pharmaceutical um, companies are complaining that they charge them high clearance rates when they import this. Because remember that Nigeria is not producing these drugs. They charge them a very high rate and the um, increase in um, petrol price. Now they pay for transportation to get to the, to move the drugs to their um, various offices. And lastly, uh, another issue is the tax that they charge them in the offices that they use is high too. Okay. For when I was going through and I found out, I was asking my friend, how does the government can come in? As one of the uh, major areas government can come in is to reduce the tax on these uh, companies. They know that it is Nigeria. It is Nigeria that buy all those drugs, or ninety percent of it in Nigeria. But then they should have the mind of Nigeria for us to know that this our government is is for us. Okay, they should know that. Okay, let me read the tax I I place on this company on the drugs that especially that matter to life because it is very important. Okay, yeah. Now, now, um, um, one last question. Now, um, we could see that Nigerians at the moment, eh, mostly medical practitioners, are leaving the country. The government is not doing anything towards that. And what do you have to say about that? Because okay. you see doctors, nurses, and even surgeons that are supposed to be in Nigeria here, they are saying they are not well paid, no good um, facilities to keep them staying here. Yeah, I was. Uh Browsing in the news, you know, I love news. I go through news a lot. I burn my data, my laptop. Yeah, one of the things that the government should do, as uh, and when I was going through, I now found out that more than uh, or, or one thousand something doctors leave or uh, Nigeria an annually. It is not and a good. Not to do so. in, uh, yeah, it's not supposed to do. One of the uh, uh, things they should do is so. Or, or provide the doctors an enabling in environment and to pay them what they want to because they are treating life it is very important they should not take them for the granted why the doctors are living in Nigeria because our politicians our government does not uh, require or uh, 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 them they don't uh, sorry or regard them anymore. And, and these politicians do not even um, get treated here in Nigeria. Yes, yeah, yeah. Why? Listen, yeah, look at the one of the major areas as we can call them. Yeah, let all our politicians, let them not fly abroad to, to get any medical treatment. That is the only area that we can help to cure this uh, job passing or, or, or these doctors. That's what I think. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. All right, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I would like your thoughts on the nation's newspaper that says President plans executive order to cut prices of drug. It's impossible because those uh, companies are equally taxpayers. And uh, the government cutting it down. Is it that he's going to place subsidy on that? Uh, on that area or that he's just going to cut it off in what aspect i just want to know because i know that he cannot because these people they are an entity of their own exactly. and they have the right now to sell drugs in according to the tax they are paying according to the cost of importation then they are there to make profit I remember that they must make profits uh, in which area is he going to cut it down it's exactly. not possible. To ask. And then, but we see that sometimes some of these um, drug sellers do increase their price. So maybe this is one of the challenges that we are facing. Uh, yes, they increase their price because of the import duty and the every other thing that they are paying. They are only paying for the site uh, where their offices are. They pay their, they pay their staffs. Uh, hey, why will they? What? Why would they cut it down? Based on the economy of today, they are the cost of uh, cost of importation is what they are looking at before they 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 then now influence the price of how much they will sell it. The president should not be talking about bringing it down. What is supposed to be talking about now using uh, using uh, uh, NAVDA to check commend the quality of drugs, not the cost of the drugs. The quality first. Yes. Yeah, the quality Our first. Is more important it's, than the amount. Yeah, it's not the money factor yet. What we are talking here is about the quality. Now, and this is not the problem of the economy. 
is the draws the problem of the economy. Is it not somebody that eat and felt well that will talk about uh, uh, draws to cure himself? Even hunger is even worse than sickness. Nigeria is facing hunger as a sickness. It's not Full -time the draws. Full-time hunger. The president should concentrate on area of bringing how to bring the the economic uh, stability that inflated to this country down. Not of talking about uh, bringing the cost of the drugs. Nigerians are talking about the cost of the food items, not the cost of drugs. Exactly. Okay, now let's let, let me hear your thoughts on this angle that we are seeing that most medical practitioners, doctors, nurses, surgeons, and even auxiliary nurses are traveling out of the country because this they say the country is not conducive, not giving them enough attention as they ought to have. What do you have to say about that? Yeah. Uh, if I were one of the doctors, I will even find the uh, the most available means to leave this country. But well, you know they, that if everybody leaves, nobody would repair the country. I let the president alone leave. Because if he just can equally find a way, the people are dying every day or hunger. Now they, there's no job. If you go to school after the, uh, like now, I am a, I am a graduate. This is, about, this, is a, uh, this is about 12 years that I graduated from university. There's no job. Now, you're talking about the traveling out. If I have opportunity, I will even flee. I will not even, <laughs> I'll flee from this country. Now, the doctors that are listening, yes, what are they doing? How much are they being paid? How are they being taken care of? If, you were, if I were them, I will even find a possible means of leaving this country. All right, thank you very much. Good Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. I would like your thoughts on the punch that says, I will take full responsibility. Nigeria will recover, says Tinubu. Oh, but I laugh at the laugh. Oh, like, who no get? Now they understand the newspaper. Every morning, if you watch them, they come to see newspaper. 